guys. Let's first close this. <gasps> Your girl is tired. guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is liz kamau thank you so much for clicking i hope your 2020 started really well let me first deal with my crusty lips and i hope it's faring well honestly guys i need to catch a breath as we begin this video i'll start with my brows and i feel like brows take all the time like cheers my babies hmm Hmm. So good. Let's begin. So for my brows, I'll be using the Davis pencil number 18. And guys, you'll be hearing all manner of noises just outside my window. My neighbor has a construction ongoing, so <laughs> bear with your girl. Because I needed to do this video right now. Because I've told you guys, these past few days have been hectic for me. Like... I have not had time to sit down and shoot and I need a video to go up on my YouTube channel every Tuesday, every Monday and Thursday, you know what I'm saying? So if you're new here, Karibu Karibu Sana, most times you don't start this channel or our videos by dancing, but today we just had to start our video by dancing because <laughs> your girl was in a good mood and I just want to proclaim and speak good things for my 2020 i don't know how your 2020 started but i really hope it started well for me 2020 started really well but towards the at uh, the end of the month of january it's been wow it's been draining i'm not gonna lie it's been draining i feel like i did a lot of stuff at once because that last week i started my business then i was doing some office work then ugh, it's been it's been, it's been hectic it's been hectic so anyway i feel like the first thing that i've learned is you're always enough when you're too uko, you're enough as you are i know there's so many people who come to our lives and they just want to show you that you're not enough like excuse me people will come with different things and you, you even yourself you'll feel like you're not enough and don't let anybody change who you are be yourself till the end like you're enough as you are i feel like people come to me with is girl you're short and you know i've been listening to my pastor preaching and he's like don't let people come to you with facts that they cannot change you're tall you're tall you're short you're short you're thick you're thick you're thin you're thin let them come with other ag uh, yeah, agendas. Oh, Lord. Let them come with other agendas that it will even help you make money. I'm sure. So what? Urefu wako umekuongezea nini? Ufupi wako umekuongezea nini? Uthinness wako? Uthickness wako? Let me be thin. Let me be thick. Let me live my life. You know what I'm saying? And this has really helped me after I turned 23. Because I used to feel like uh, people, every time people used to ask me, why are you this short? And it used to get to my mind. And I'm like, Okay, Liz, why are you this short? I cannot change it. I am short. Like, I am short, period. Like, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am short. I am short. I cannot say there. I have to, I cannot say like there. I'm going there. I have the, I will have to say there. Like there. So, what the hell? I have a Kikuyu accent. You have to accept me as I am. And this is one thing that I've been listening. I've been listening to a podcast. And this is one thing that I've been learning. Every time that you feel you're not enough, for somebody take time and ask yourself are they enough for you are they like are they enough for you and you'll come to realize that you're pushing yourself to someone who is not even enough for you i don't know if you're getting this like they're not enough for you so take some time take a break baby girl take take some take some water and think are they enough for you don't let anybody change whom you are. And the second thing that I'm learning, and me, I'm a generous human being. And the second thing that I'm learning, and I'm learning it the hard way, is to always choose my, myself first in every decision that I'm making. Because I feel like there's so many people out here who are just ready to receive, 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 and never give. So you'll be drained. You're always giving love, you're always giving joy, you're always giving peace, you're always giving, like, you're always giving, but you're getting drained because 
there's nobody to fill you up so every time these days when i'm making a decision that it's me and somebody else if you're my friend i am sorry to say this but i will always choose me because i feel like for the longest time when you choose people and when you choose other people even the people don't appreciate out here they will receive receive they don't care if you get drained it's it's your problem sis they will use you and we resist you out here that's the second thing i've been learning and for me this is becoming really hard because i feel like i'm too generous i i don't know how to choose myself and also at this time i am also learning how to love myself fully because oh my god it's really hard i never knew like loving yourself is hard than loving others it's hard like for me it's hard but i need to learn this i need i need this like i need to love myself first so that even i can be able to love others even i can be able to share with others but remember there are people out here who will always receive and they will never give let me do my brows in the meantime <laughs> I'm not stressed that much when my eyebrows don't look the same because I've come to learn like eyebrows are not twins. They're just they at times they'll decide to be twins, other times they'll decide to be sisters, other times they'll be they'll decide they'll gosh, what's going on with me? Other times they'll decide to be long distance related people. So <laughs> I'm gonna roll with how they feel that day. So for my foundation, I'm using the LA colors truly mud in the shade i think it's in the shade mahogany if i'm not wrong and yes i'm i'm doing the minimal with my face so i'm going to be using just a one pump i feel like it's enough i don't want to put that much makeup mm -hmm. that thing that i've learned is that be your own hype man like speak to yourself word of affirmation like i am strong Liz, you can do this Liz, you're the best Liz, you you know just affirm yourself every time you wake up in the morning that you're strong you're wise you got all it takes you know what i'm saying like affirm 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 yourself and let me tell you it doesn't matter what comes to you through that day you will make it i'm not gonna lie to you there are days i just wake up and i'm like oh my god i can't do this and i just remember like you know what baby you're your own hype woman so just wake up and hype yourself like affirm yourself that you can do this and it really works <laughs> wow guys i just love how how dewy i look i love it when my foundation looks dewy and not truly like truly truly matte like my foundation says so that's why I add in my my coconut oil to help me with this. But the next time I'm getting a foundation, I think I won't get a matte foundation because, wow. At times this foundation is truly, like truly, truly matte. But I love how my face looks. Oh, look at that glow. <laughs> look at the glow. So the next thing is concealer to conceal my under eyes even though my under eyes are not that bad as you can see and we're good to go and so guys the next thing i don't know why i'm just finding it finding it really hard for me to chat with you guys and for me to eat and then do my makeup so i think i'll just do what i can so the fourth thing that i've been learning put the fear aside i know it's really hard to put the fear aside and just do what you gotta do because i feel like most of us i included 
are losing amazing, amazing opportunities because we let fear overwhelm us. Like, if you lose baby boy, if you lose baby girl, it's not the end of the world. At least you tried. And you, you never know that one time when you shoot your shot is that time that everything will just fall in place. So one thing that I'm, I'm really learning, I don't know if I'm there yet, I'm not there yet, is to put my fear aside and just do what I gotta do. If I'm there to approach someone and tell them, like, I want this done, I want you to help me with this, I'm gonna do it. Because I feel like I've been losing so many opportunities, like so many opportunities because I've let fear overwhelm me. Me and I'm so envious, actually, me and I, I don't know. Me, I'm envious of those people who are just like their self-esteem is up there up there yeah their self-esteem is up there because i feel like those people can approach anybody Ugh, for me i have to eat up myself like i have to call myself a meeting me myself and i are meeting then we gather we discuss then i get the courage to do it i want it to be it can't be that natural that easily but i want it to be a thing that i can do anytime like I know that guy is going to help me. I'm going to approach him. I know this lady is going to help me. I'm going to approach him. I know I need to do work or I need to do a collab with someone. I'm going to approach them. If they say no, I try it. If they say yes, hmm, let's roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to put my fear away. Like, because I feel like my number one enemy, as I said in the other video, even your number one enemy is what you feed your mind. And the mind is so strong such that it will overwhelm even your energy. Like your body will be overwhelmed that you won't even be able to do what you what you want to do. Because it's all starts in the mind. It's all starts in the mind. <clears throat> so what I do is I let my concealer sit as I bronze. Uh, is it bronze or browns or contour my face? Let me just use, I'll butcher all these names. And you know, like, ain't nobody gonna check me, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna check me. After blending in my concealer, what I do next is just set my face with the Banana Dreams Loose Powder. Mm-hmm. Because I, I really don't wanna, like, bake, so I'll do the least. Things I go harm like crazy with this powder. As I let this sit, I've already powdered the rest of my face. I'll do mascara. Is it only me or other people who with eye allergies, like myself, I wear glasses. I find like every time I wear an eyeliner, my God, it gets so itchy. It's usually so painful that I cannot bear it. So these days I feel like I've stopped doing eyeliner because it's been really itchy. Even when I do IP, like I pencil on my is it waterline like waterline waterline it's the whole day i'll be like because my eyes are itchy so i've just at some point i've i want to take a break and see if that's the that's the thing but i think that's the thing and that's why i've taken the break so all i'll do is mascara <laughs> I use rose water to set my face then i go in a little bit to just blend everything in so guys that's it for today's video i'm done doing my makeup my edges are on fleek like <laughs> like who's gonna check me like period really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video these days every time that i'm doing a video my intention is to make sure that somebody gets motivated in one way or another and somebody gets like that inspiration to do what they gotta do because 
baby girl baby boy ain't nobody gotta do for you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here karibu 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 sana my darling this family is growing and i am so grateful to god and i hope you guys have a blessed month and a blessed day if you're watching this in the morning in the afternoon in the evening koheri bye love you mm -hmm.